Basic craniotomy set. Yeah. Okay. So, and this set we always gonna have a curate. Okay. Right here. This is a patty tray. A patty tray? Yeah. Okay. That's why we put the one by one patties. Some doctor they want it or moist. Some doctor want it dry. Okay. So usually we don't wet them until the doctor say so. Okay. The patties, that's the uh, cottonoids, right? That's the cottonoids. Some people say every place call them differently. Okay. Some people call them cottonoids, some people call them patties. Yeah. This is a... Uh, what size is that? This is a uh, one by one. One by one? Okay. Actually, half by half. half by oh, half. yeah, half by half. Yeah. Half by half cottonoids. Okay. So, no, I know Trinidad yeah. said you're always going to have those cerebellar retractors. Cerebellus? Yeah. Those are cerebellar retractors? Yeah. Okay. But most likely we're not going to need it because you're not going to go deep inside the brain. They're not going to open really like um, the, the bone of okay. the brain. So we're just, we're just going to lay them there just in case, you know, things happen. Yeah. So we get them ready. We Those have cerebellum. Yep. Small weedies. Small weedies. Okay. So I'm going to put one on the male side. Next to your curette. Yep. Next to my curette. And those are kerosene. Kerosene. This is kerosene three, kerosene two. So usually we use them just to clean the bone before we get access to the dura. So okay. we make sure we clean, make sure we get rid of all the excess, excess bone. Kerosene okay. 3 and kerosene This two. is a pituitary. Okay, pituitary round jaw. Mm-hmm. Okay. But those going, I forgot the name, but I know what they use for. But... I will go look for the name for you and I'll tell you later. But they use them for like retraction. They have some green things they're gonna use just to hold in place the skin, you know, uh -huh. so they can have access to the bone before they're like, you know, before they can like open it and get access to the door and everything like that. That's okay. what they use. Because, is, does it say Acro on it? Yeah, that's the company name, but okay. it's like a gun, and there's like some kind of like green, green thing we put, we just put on there, and then just for retraction purposes. Okay. Cool. And this is called a loop, loop, loop retractors. Loop retractor. Yeah. Okay. This is to retract the skin. Okay. And some people, some some places they use it also for like, for a heart surgery, hmm. to like lift up the sternum. Oh, so wow. they can have access to the pericardium. Okay. But they also use it in neurosurgery as well. Okay. But most likely we're not gonna need them, so we're gonna leave them right here. Okay. Army Navy. Army Navy. Alright. So the most important thing in neurosurgery, the most important is gonna be suction. Okay. Those are Fraser suction tips. There's okay. a, this is a 12 French. So we're gonna start with a 12. And and a ten. It's a ten French. It's a twelve and a ten. Okay. But sometimes the doctor wanna go for a smaller version. Okay. So we lay them right here. Awesome. And this called ribbon. Like uh, malleable ribbon. Small malleable retractors. Okay. We're gonna put one of them on the middle thing. Then put the rest right here. And for your suction, never get rid of them. Always try to put them in a, arrange them in size order. Okay. So if the doctor asks for a smaller version, you already know what you Gee. get there. Yes. Brother. Marking. Quarter percent marking. With one to two hundred thousand. Okay. Right? One to two hundred. Okay. I don't see Hold that. Hold on, right there, because it's about. As small as a P. Yeah, that's the way. Yeah, one to two hundred thousand. Uh, nine twenty-three. Four twenty-three. Mm -hmm. And nine twenty-three. Yep. Okay, so thirty cc's. I have thrombin and surgical, but we'll wait. Good. Okay. Where am I? Put it right here. Okay. 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 Ok
this. You have put them right there. You, you have labels, yes? Yeah, I have labels. Thank you. All right, I'm going to go see everyone. Oh, want to so, count first? You want to count? Sure, I can count with you. Do you have neural patties? I have neural patties. Okay, cool. That's so funny. Yeah. I never, I never uh, heard them referred to as patties. Yeah, they call them yeah, patties. Some, some place call them, yeah. some place call them patnoid. Some yeah, that's what I'm always it's, it's the same thing. Right, just different names. Just different names. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. What do you call them? I've always heard them referred to as uh, cottonoids. I've never heard that. Yeah, oh, that's so funny. So, those suction, no neurosurgery can be done without suction. Okay. If you start a neurosurgery without a suction, any neurodactor will flip. Yeah. Because there's a lot of bleeding and all that, so it's very okay. important. So we're gonna get interrupted for a minute. That's okay. Let the people see a good count, proper right. count. And you better turn that proper off. Proper count. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten. Ten. Nice. Uh, one more. That's how you do it. You separate them. That's the proper yeah. way to do it. That's the proper way. Never count together. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay. So, blade. I have one, two, and three. Three. Mm -hmm. And high pull. I have one. one. And deer cat needle. Okay. I have one. Okay. Um, scratch pad. I have one. One. Bobby tip. That is one. One. And then two. Two. So one and two. For whatever reason. Yeah. It's really complicated. And patties. Patty. Can I get one by one? You can have whatever you want. Yeah, we need one. We have, have, I have one. Yeah. Do it like that. Like a devil card. One, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Ten. And you want one by one? One by one, please. In your uh... Your sutures too. Yeah. We have sutures? We have mm -hmm. sutures. Where are they? Right here. Okay. I hide them for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one by one. One by ones. Right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Twenty. Very nice. That's twenty. Mm -hmm. And then sutures. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. That's it? That's it for now. All right, gentlemen, I'm going to go see our, our person, okay? Okay. Oh, thank you. So, like I said, yeah. one of the most important things, suction. Fridge, always fridge for AD neural case, whether it's spine, or knees, you're always going to have those available. Okay. And then for bleeding, you're always going to have bone wax. You're gonna, you're gonna put it on a freer. Yeah. You call it wax on a stick. Wax on a stick? Yeah, some <laughs> surgeons say wax on a stick yeah. or wax on the freer. You can, you can like, whenever you're working with a surgeon, say that you know you have to put it on a freer. Some surgeons yeah. don't like to use the name freer. Yeah. They like wax, wax on a stick. Dr. Lepla, for example, you're gonna say, give me wax on a freer. Okay. And sometimes they say wax on my finger. Whenever they do oh. it, you roll it. And you give it to them on the finger, okay, like that. Or you can either put it on like straight clamp and just you give it to them to make it easier for yourself. Okay, and that helps okay. stop bleeding. That helps stop bleeding, like you know the bone. You know, you just like put it by the bone where it's bleeding, and it's gonna stop it. It's gonna not stop. It's gonna slow it down, and that they will be able to work. Okay, all that. Nice, nice, nice. All right, so the other most important thing you're gonna see on a craniotomy tray. Mm. So you have the knife handle. Mm -hmm. Always have, always have ready two ten. And what is the other end? One eleven blade. Mm -hmm. Some doctors ask for fifteen, but it's most likely eleven. Okay. So 
If we were that's doing a, that's yeah. a seven, right? This is the number seven. Okay. Like like the skinny one always number seven. Okay. Always number ten. Okay. So this is called pen fill. We have pen fill one. Mm -hmm. Let's see. That's a three. That's a four. Mm -hmm. And two. Yeah, pen fill. One, two. Oops. Very important. Yeah. That's one, two, three, and then four. Okay. So the four, they use it for retraction inside the brain. Okay. And some doctors, so sometimes they try to like get rid of little remnants of like small bone. Yeah. So they like use it. Because this is not going to damage the brain. And also a lot of doctors, in my experience, they love using this. This is Pinfield 1. Okay. And the Pinfield 3, you know, like before they get access to the drawer, that's what they use to lift up the bone because they're going to remove the a portion of the bone, like maybe from your frontal lobe mm -hmm. or like temporal lobe, they're going to remove that part of the bone and then put it on the side. And afterward, when they're done with the surgery, they're going to put it back and screw it down. Okay. So that's how they use, that's what they use to lift it up. That's a pen fill three. Okay. All ooh, right. Ooh. So for this case, we're going to only have on the male stand a pen fill four mm -hmm. and a pen fill one. So they use these for retraction inside the brain. Okay. And four those and two and three, they use them to lift up, to lift up the bone. Okay. And this is called a dental tool. Dental tool. Dental tools. Also, like they use it to, like you know, for retraction. Like if they, if they like um, face with some nerve, blood vessel, they use it to kind of like retract them away, and all that. So they can have access to like if they trying to remove some tumor and all that. That's how they do it. Okay. I put that on the nail center as well. And this is called a wood wood center. Wood center. Wood center elevator. Right. So that. We mostly use it in spine cases. So we're gonna put it right here. Okay. But we put it like where we can have access with it. That's what you call a freer. It's the freer. And this is how you put, you put like a bone wax on it, like that. Just put a small amount, and they're just gonna apply it while it's bleeding. Just gonna put it like that. And then, you know, just spread it around the bone, and then it's gonna stop. Okay. And you put, you make sure always put it in like both, both ends. Both ends. So doctor, so, so they don't have to keep asking you back and forth. They use this end, and they can use the other end. That's awesome. Okay. So right here next to your bodies. Okay. And then you put maybe three or four wax on my fingers. It's ready, and then you put the rest here. Okay. And these are nerveful. So for this doctor, we're going to use, that's the only nerve hook he, he usually use. And sometimes he use the micro nerve hook, but this is a regular nerve hook. Okay. And this is a long one. This is a shorter one. Okay. All okay. right. Fire, fire, fire. That's some great information. Thank you. Okay, we're going to use that. So people always get like confused with neurosurgery. So for neurosurgery, right? When we make incision, this is the first time we're gonna use Anson with teeth. Some doctors don't even use it, but you never know. And I'll have them on the male stand. This is called a dural forcep. Okay. Dural forcep, that's like smooth dural forceps, okay. both of them. So we're gonna lay them right here. If they ask for it, And this is called draw for step with tape. You see how they look really like, you know, the tape is really tiny. They have teeth in it. Yeah. You know, they use it for the skin as well. And then for some like hard tissue, okay. they use, but they never use it inside the brain. Okay. Usually they use it at the beginning of the case or when they're about to close, okay. you know? But you see how like tiny it is? Allow them to grab um, soft tissue. Okay. Alright, so Ooh. always gonna have them on the male stand. And this is called bayonet forceps. Bayonet. 
any neurosurgery you're gonna have that any neurosurgery or the spine that's what they use with the patties they just grab them and they lay it where there's bleeding sometimes they use like um surgery flow or flow yeah. seal just to stop bleeding for like a minute while they're working okay so we're gonna have one on the patty tray they lay it here then you can do the one here on standby just in case you drop that one you always have this available then you have the This is a Russian forcep. Yeah. Some doctor use it to get tumor out. Okay. Some doctors will, will even call it tumor forcep. Oh wow. Yeah. I never heard that. Yeah. They call it like that. That's because that's what they use. Yeah. This is a Dubeki. Okay. The place where I was working at, they used to call it a vascular forcep. The Russians? No, this the oh, Dubeki the right there. Yeah, yeah. They used to call it vascular forcep they like because it vascular surgeons use it a lot. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, lay it right here. And gonna keep all my teeth forcep together. Those are all those are smooth forcep. Okay. Sends retractors. Mm-hmm. Find those. Those are elevators. Okay. Very SEO elevators. They use the you see them in orthopedics a lot as well. Yeah. So they also use those for the same purpose as a pin field three. Sometimes the pen, the pin field three is too small to lift up the bone. So they use a heavier one. They're trying to clean up the drawer from the bone right. so they can lift it without damaging the drawer. Because you they still need that drawer at the end of the case. When they're closing, they're gonna use small needles to close it so they can put back the bone for protection. Because you don't wanna damage the brain. Yeah. So, put those right here. Uh, and you know, that's pretty much it. Right. And you already know the claims of Kelly. It's a Kelly. These, we call them, the the perfect, the perfect name for these are like Kyle's. Okay. But here they call them Kyle's. Kyle's, yeah. But they, the yeah. name, the name for every place, every single hospital is supposed to go to. Yeah. So it's supposed to be a crowd. That's a curved crowd. Okay. And this is like regular mosquitoes. Mm-hmm. We have straight mosquitoes, Alice's, and we have cokers, window driver, sponge steak, scissors, scissors. We have the milk, and regular scissors, heavy scissors, curved nails, and all that. This is a fat scissors. Thank you so much. No you are appreciated.